Hello, ghouls and ghosties. The day has come. I'm so excited. I actually didn't even like sleep that well last night because I was so excited about today. So today is the decorate day. It is the day, the big day. I'm so excited to finally put my new decor pieces to use, to dig through my old decor pieces from past years and a lot from last year, to just kind of look at what we're working with and plan out what I'm going to do. There's certain pieces that I put in like the same places every year. And I also want to do some like I don't know, I might do some theme type stuff this year. I'm not sure. I definitely obviously have more to work with this year than I ever have in the past. But of course, before decorating, I had to get a spooky pumpkin drink. So I got, it's my order is just my normal Trenta coffee that I would get, but instead of like uh, vanilla or whatever, I just get pumpkin. So it's like Trenta cold brew with seven pumps of pumpkin, three Splenda, cream, and light ice. That's it, but it's, delicious. I am going to head home now. I'm going to turn on some spooky music. I'm going to light the spooky candles. And I think we're going to go like room by room decorating with me. I will probably just do it as voiceover because there are other people in my house that might be making noise and stuff. TVs might be on or something. And then my music will play, which will demonetize me. So I will probably be doing voiceover for this stuff. And I might not show every single room of the house mainly just for time and just because some won't be as exciting as others but I will show some main rooms I'll probably do like the kitchen the dining room the upstairs living room the downstairs living room and then like the bathroom upstairs those are probably like the for sure oh and then of course like outside which leads me to one more thing so I don't think I'm gonna put up Skelly and mama mama mummy I don't know. I literally just called him that. That is not a name that I made for him. I don't know why I just said, why I just said that. <laughs> um, I'm not going to put up the mummy and skeleton today, I don't think. Or I know I'm not going to. A, because Ryan and I are leaving to his family's house a state away in Iowa for the whole weekend, a long weekend. So I would like to avoid any damage or theft or whatever that could happen without me being there to like go out and be like, get off my lawn, kids. Also, I just would like to maybe push them off two weeks. I might do like September 15th, September 14th or something for those two guys. Just again, to like avoid more time where people could steal parts of them or damage them or wind storms or storms. Lately, we've had a ton of huge, huge thunderstorms. So I'm just gonna wait two weeks, not too long because I am dying to get them up, but just a little, little bit longer than the rest of the decor. I also just don't think I would have time to do all of that today. So it just, it that's how it's gonna work out. But I'm so excited to get them up. Skelly's pumped. He's looking out the window. He's like, this is not the house. House. The decor is not outside in the yard yet. That's what I should be looking at. So let's go home. Let's start decorating. I think we're going to start with me kind of just like sifting through some of the old stuff because I got to get that out from storage and kind of looking at it, thinking, planning, mixing it in my mind with the new stuff that we have. I'm so excited. The kitchen will probably be the first room we do. Ugh. I'm so excited. Also, okay, one more thing. Just bear with me. This is my first ever decorate with me vlog. If it's not perfect, if there's flaws, if you think I could have done it better, like not do voiceover, do it a different way. Just bear with me. It's my first time trying to do this. I'm honestly kind of nervous for some reason. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it that well. So hopefully I will, but yeah. Okay, now let's go home. As soon as I got home, I started to unpack all of my Halloween decor from storage. There was a lot of stuff from last year. Last year was definitely the biggest Halloween shopping year, second to this year. This year has been a lot more than last year, but still last year was a lot of stuff. I am looking through my stuff from last year and just being re-excited about the stuff I found. Also, this skeleton decoration is the inspiration for this tattoo, as you can tell, which I love. 
And just as a heads up, in the next couple clips when I start to speak, I'm going to be going through some of my old Halloween decor. I'm going to be talking about a few of the items that I have, but don't worry, this section is not that long. I'm not actually going to talk about every single thing I have. It's only about a couple minutes long. <sighs> okay, step one, we're done with getting everything out from storage. There is a lot of stuff which I was expecting, so it's okay. Obviously, I knew that there'd be a lot, and there is. We've got two big boxes of stuff, got a couple like TJ Maxx style bags of stuff, got some big stuff behind me, got some little decor in boxes behind me. Upstairs, I still have all my stuff from this year, so this is really just like my old stuff or stuff from last year. And we're just gonna dig through it, kind of look at some stuff, plan out some rooms, and do all kinds of fun things like that. So let's begin with maybe like one of the TJ Maxx bags. Let me just grab one. This also, oh my gosh, this also does not count the outdoor items so this is all the indoor stuff so i'm if i'm not mistaken this bag is items that are mine i believe so let's start taking a peek okay obviously not everything because these are some of my mom's dish towels so i should probably start separating this stuff into what room they're going into i have a lot of these because with my job i am thrifting all the time and so i find these at thrift stores all the time and they're like a dollar a lot of the times with the thrift stores i go to so i do pick up a lot of them which maybe this bag is mainly like these little light up jack-o-lanterns i love putting these just kind of all over the house one of my favorite things for decorating really any holiday but especially halloween is having a lot of lighting it's fun to have less just like in your face lamps and more like mood lighting and kind of like spooky eerie low light i really really like that got another pumpkin who is attached to another pumpkin. So we got a bigger pumpkin, tall pumpkin. It's the like mesh kind of like, I think of these as like the 2000s, like pumpkins. That was a thrift find I know because that's not really my style, but <laughs> we have this really cool bat that I got last year. Oh yeah, from Michael's. I totally forgot about this. Eat, drink, and be scary. And it's like a bat hanging upside down. I love this. Michaels, why can't we be making stuff like this? They have that apothecary sign this year. Is I don't like that as much as this. These are from Walmart. I think like three or four years ago, I loved these. This is from when I lived in Iowa. My Walmart down there actually stocked Halloween, unlike the ones up here. This is a vintage Aunt Agatha brand candy corn witch sign. This is a black cat cauldron polish sign with the super vintage style art. Art. These are also like tin. They're very high quality. And then this is Halloween brand mashed jack-o-lantern. I love those. So that's it for bag one. Let's move on to another spooky TJ Maxx bag of stuff. And like I said, most of the stuff in these bags are things that I purchased myself over the past like couple years. We have another little pumpkin. This little, oh yeah, this weird little basket. So this, ooh, this is one of the John Darian pieces. One of my favorite Halloween collections ever made. John Darian for threshold stuff. Holy buckets. So up my alley. It's crazy. I got a little laundry basket of skulls. A shower curtain. This is one of the busts from last year, Bath and Body Works. Love. Absolutely love. I actually love these ones more than the ones that are having this year. Oh, we have the OG Target Threshold Haunted House. This is so much cooler than the ones this year. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I love that this one comes with the trees and the bats flying off. I know the ones this year do not have that. This is one of my favorite things I own Halloween-wise, which I probably would say about a lot of stuff, but that's definitely one of my favorites. I probably shouldn't show you guys and talk about every single thing that this video is gonna be super long, but I'm gonna sort through some stuff maybe here in like fast motion. And if there's things of note, I will say something about them, but I definitely can't just do a show and tell this whole time, or this is gonna take way too long. So I'm gonna go through this stuff and start sorting. Like I said earlier, I was just getting nostalgic unloading all of this Halloween stuff from last year. I was very excited about the things that I picked up that I obviously can't get this year.
Okay, so I'm gonna get into the two boxes. I totally forgot about these, and I feel like we're really gonna be kicking into a lot of the like little decor pieces. I feel like the stuff out here wasn't in the boxes, it's more like lights or outdoors, or like the bigger decor pieces, obviously, because they couldn't fit in the boxes. So let's get into the boxes and see what we're working with for like little pieces of decor. So this, every year since I've got it, has been something for our like business room, our office, our reselling room, whatever, uh, because it's like a witch's outfit. And again, I don't know why I just keep bringing up my work, but I work in like this sale of clothing. So how freaking fitting that she's leaving her clothes out to dry in our room of clothes. I love that. I am just like looking at some of this stuff and I'm like, good job, Past Jack. You picked up some good stuff that I'm really glad we didn't like miss out on some year. Like this tray from Target Threshold, these Threshold coasters, I'm like, ugh. So here's the kitchen pre-decorating. Don't mind the wall areas that are messed up. My mom is going to get a backsplash put in. So the old backsplash wallpaper was torn out. So that explains that. But this is kind of our blank slate for what we are gonna be working with. My family likes breweries. So that's what all those are up there. Also as decorating, it is 60 days until Halloween. It is happy and also sad because I don't want it to come too soon. I started with this part of the counter. I decided that I would take the kitchen like piece by piece and show you guys how I decorate each section of the kitchen. I swapped out the candy bowl with the spiderweb bowl that we found this year and then I also decided to put the spiderweb bowl onto a spiderweb cake stand to just give it some elevation and then I could actually put some stuff under it if I decided to in the future. I then started to clear off the sink area and add some spooky soap and some little spooky windowsill decor like a sponge holder, little jack-o-lantern. Also I wanted to switch out this rug to add the Joanna Parker candy candy corn, kitchen mat in. We've put this jack-o'-lantern here ever since I can remember. His face reflects onto the ceiling at night and he just fits so perfectly right here. Above the windowsill was a little too spring, so let's add some spider webs and a happy Halloween banner and of course some purple lights to make it a little spooky. I also threw in some little spiders just to add to the spider web. My spooky stir stick collection is growing. I had these spider and beetle ones from last year and now I've added these golden skull ones from Threshold this year. My coffee area has a pumpkin feel all year. This is a caribou coffee that's my favorite at home pumpkin flavor. I just like to have a spooky coffee section all year. I also already had this skull as my spatula and kitchen utensil holder. I have this let's get lit pumpkin wine holder and my little mummy mug that I got a couple days ago. Here is the oven area pre-decorating. There's not much going on here, so let's make it a little bit spookier. Take a shot every time I say spooky. I added this jack-o'-lantern mat right in front of the oven, and I also added these pug Halloween towels to the front that I gave my mom, the spider fruit basket, the spider napkin holder, and also I themed the top with some wine accents, some white skulls, ghosts, and the mummy mug I put up there. Then I added the vintage sun to the side of the cabinet along with this eat drink and be scary sign. Pre-decorating, the dining room has some things going on on the walls and has some plants, but there's not much going on on the actual dining table, so let's make it spooky. I already had this candle holder here, so let's add to it. I added the TJ Maxx skull napkin holder and I also added some bat garland to the light which you can't see in this shot. I did not aim it right, I'm sorry. But Mike is fitted for the occasion. He's in his jack-o'-lantern shirt, which I love. I decided to add the Halloween charger to the center of the table. 
I also decided to put a bat light up on the wall, which once again I have out of frame. I apologize. I put some vintage styled cardboard slash paper decor to the window, which I actually really loved how it turned out. I kind of sporadically just put them up and just picked my favorites because they actually have way more than the ones that I put up. Then I put a neon skull up on the wall. I have so many neon lights. They are like my favorite decor. I buy every single neon light the Target has because they're just so amazing. Of course I had to add Skelly to the table. This is not the Skelly from my car. It's his twin brother. Here's a look at the finished product. I really didn't add much to the table. I don't know, I just didn't have much for the table. I don't buy too much at home goods for a kitchen table. I will once I have my own home. But like I said, I love how this window turned out. I love these vintage style window pieces. And might I remind you that roses are red, shadows are black, there are ghosts in the garden, watch your back. I made a whole theme out of this pillow that involved a ghost light string, some little ghost decor accents, plants, ghost statues, ghost planters, a ghost Russian doll from someone who actually watches our main channel, and a little ghost pillow, ghost plant lights, and some ghost blow molds, a ghost wallflower plug-in, a ghost lantern. Oh my gosh, I put so many ghosts, so many plants. I'm so obsessed with this section. Let's move on to the living room, specifically the TV stand. I have an extremely exciting piece to put in here and it is this dog toy basket. It is meant for kids rooms. I don't know what you put in it, probably the kids toys, but my kid is a fur kid. So I'm gonna put in all of Mike's toys, which he has a lot of, so many that they couldn't all fit. So I decided to leave the spooky ones out on the floor for him to play with for the season. I then moved on to the actual TV stand itself. There's not much that I really put into this. I just have some little pieces that I kind of put here every year. In the past, I've never used spiderweb, but whoa, was I missing out. I love how this area turned out. Let's move on to the mantle. This is one of the things I'm most excited about. It is at the top of the cupboard. By the way, sneak peek, I did happen to find two Burlington ghosts. Oops. I decided to add the 2021 Home Depot Pumpkin Twin Boy and the Target Pumpkin Street Light to the front of the cabinet. And then at the top, I added the two Burlington ghosts that I found along with the 2021 Target Haunted House and two spooky trees. I love how it turned out. I also put two of the at-home trees to the top of this area along with the Bath and Body 2021 bust. And as a last minute decision, I decided to do a cauldron row on the other side of the cupboard. I love how it turned out. Let's make this bland ultra suede brown love seat into something fun, shall we? Okay, here comes the Pottery Barn pumpkin along with the Home Goods ghost and the Target Raven pillow and a TJ Maxx bat blanket that matches the wall. In the bathroom, we are up against a very beach-themed situation. There are beach items all over the wall. There's a beach shower curtain. There are beach accoutrements throughout. There is just a lot of beach going on. My mom is quite a fan of a beach bathroom, as I feel like a lot of people have. So let's add some spookiness to this bathroom. I have a few things in mind to add here, but otherwise I'm just gonna kind of wing it. 
post decorating, I added a mat of the jack-o'-lantern from Target to the front of the bathroom along with the Hey Boo shower curtain that I've used for two years along with this Boo bath mat that I showed earlier. And of course, the hooks for the shower curtain that I showed you earlier and the Headless Horseman just looks so perfect on the porcelain throne. I just had to throw him in along with these jack-o'-lantern lights that go all around the mirror in the bathroom and the jack-o'-lantern Halloween sign on top of the mirror. For the entryway, I have a very exciting idea, and here it is. It is floating candles along with a witch's hat that is floating from the ceiling. I knew I wanted to do this, but I did not want to buy the Pottery Barn $150 nine-piece candle set. So instead, I bought the at-home $30 10-piece candle set and hung it, and honestly, it looks so good. Okay guys, so it's actually about five days after the last clip you just saw. Uh, the upstairs took so much time that I had to push off doing the downstairs. But anyways, let's move on to the downstairs. I'm proud of how the upstairs turned out and I'm glad I put some time and effort into making some themes. Downstairs, on the mantle, I always love to do like a jack-o'-lantern theme. So this year I am continuing with what I have done before. A few things had dead batteries, which was kind of frustrating me, but whatever, I'll just add some batteries in a little bit. But I actually have a surprise for this corner in the right side of your screen. Here he is. It is the man-eating plant from Home Depot 2021. This is one of my favorite pieces of decor I have. He is just so funny. Unfortunately, in this video, I don't have footage of what he says because I actually didn't plug him in. He's just kind of gonna be a corner decor piece, but I love the man-eating plant. I knew last year I had to have him. I could not find him anywhere for the life of me. And then at the end of the season, like a week before Halloween, I found him at a Home Depot about an hour away and I raced over to get him. He is just so cool and they didn't bring him back this year which is just so disappointing. Okay, y'all, let's go outside. So this tree, I always love to hang stuff from this tree. It grows so much every year, so there's room for more spooky pieces. The outside is kind of lackluster right now, so let's make it a little bit more interesting with some, I don't know, pumpkins, skeletons, who knows what's in store, but let's spookify the front. Also, this area is just missing, I don't know, something interesting. I also like to give my pumpkin babies a little bit of a setup and some mood lighting, so how about we do that? I added the at home skull tin sign from this year along with the Joann's 2021 ghost windmill which is missing one ghost. I need to figure out how to add him back on along with some orange lights for some mood lighting for my pumpkins to grow and thrive. On the front step I decided that we needed to add quite a bit of items. so. I added the at home welcome sign skeleton from this year at at home, the Joann's 2021 pumpkin mat, the spooky ghost Kirkland's mat from this year. I also embraced the dead plants on my front step and put them in the cauldron. I added some brooms for some broom parking. I also added the 2021 Target jack-o'-lantern stand. And then in the front yard, I decided we should add a giant 
spiderweb. I actually bought this the day that I filmed this. It was from Target, along with a thrifted giant pumpkin, some 2021 skulls that light up, which I'm super excited about. Here is a closer up of the spiderweb that I bought today. I love it. It's like, I don't know, it's like 18 feet or something. It's so huge. Then on the tree, I added a bunch of hanging items. Like I said, this is just what I do every year. It's literally just random miscellaneous skeletons, ghosts, phantoms, jack-o'-lanterns, buckets. Also, while thrifting, I found a witch crashed into a tree. Of course I had to get that.